All right, now to our Bay Area Proud series and a story about a community transformed from trouble to thriving. Garvin Thomas joins us now to share the story and the person behind a very dramatic change. Jessica, the community we're talking about is North Fair Oaks. It's an unincorporated part of San Mateo County bordering Redwood City. Not all that long ago, it was a rough place to live, rife with gangs, guns, and drugs, but not anymore. So what changed everything? Well, a better question would be, who? Sister Christina Heltzi is one of those people who, when others see challenges, she sees nothing but potential. Like 20 years ago, when Sister Christina came to run the St. Francis Center in North Fair Oaks, Back then, just a food and clothing donation program run out of a single building in the middle of a dangerous neighborhood. A challenge, right? I was just like, like a kid in a candy store. All I could see was potential. Well, Sister Christina's potential is now a reality. The St. Francis Center still gives out food and clothing, but under her watch, they have opened a school and built a brand new after school center grown a community garden and currently own and manage close to 200 units of housing permanently reserved for low-income families. It has been a transformation not just of the center but the entire community. It was full of gang violence, um, unsafe. Andrea Hernandez grew up here when the neighborhood was rife with gangs, guns and drugs. She's happy to raise her two children here now. The children have the opportunity to have a better life, better academic. Before, uh, people would be inside of their homes at a certain time because they were fearful. Christina Corpus once patrolled these streets as a deputy and marvels at the turnaround. The work that she's done um, and the support she's given to that community is is amazing. First of all, I love you identifying yourself as leader. Most around here give Sister Christina the bulk of the credit for all the positive changes, saying her leadership, dedication, and compassion have been key, not to mention her courage. There were times Sister Christina literally faced down gang members when her mission conflicted with theirs. I went out with a telephone in my hand and he looked, he came up to me with his fist like this and he said, we do not call the police in this neighborhood. And I said, I do. <laughs> Did you make progress on all those bags? Those days, Sister Christina believes, are now gone for good. Gangs and violence replaced with education and hope. I, see, I, I get teary just thinking about it because I know that the services of this center have made an exponential effect in their lives. And Jess, such an important distinction to make in this case. There have been communities where violence and drugs have gone away through gentrification, mm -hmm. but that often meant people were forced out. She's been able to do this, and with all this affordable low-income housing, the residents who were there can still be there and remain there in the future. Wow, she is quite the miracle worker for sure. Thank you, Garvin.